Understanding Concrete Nouns, Bringing Your Words to Life. Hello, Language Explorers. Today, we're going to take a closer look at an essential building block of English language learning, the concrete noun. These are the nouns that you can experience with your five senses. They bring life, color, and substance to your communication. Are you ready to dive in? Concrete nouns are all around us. They are the words that represent objects and substances that we can see, touch, hear, smell, or taste. They could be a person, like your best friend, an animal, such as a dog, a place, like a park, a thing, such as a book, or even a particular event, like a concert. These are all things we can physically interact with or perceive through our senses. Let's solidify this with some examples. Remember, concrete nouns are all things you can experience with one or more of your senses. Sight. You can see a rainbow, a tree, a skyscraper, or a painting. Touch. You can touch a cat, a hot stove, a cold ice cream, or a soft pillow. Sound. You can hear a thunderstorm, a bird song, an orchestra, or a whisper. Taste. You can taste a sweet mango, a salty chip, a sour lemon, or a spicy curry. Smell. You can smell a fresh rose, a baking bread, a morning coffee, or a new car. Understanding and using concrete nouns effectively will add depth and clarity to your communication. When you use concrete nouns, you're painting a vivid picture in the mind of your listener or reader. For example, saying, the dog chased the cat up the oak tree, is much more specific and engaging than simply saying, the animal climbed the tree. That wraps up our journey into the world of concrete nouns. Now, you have a better understanding of what concrete nouns are, some examples of them, and why they are so vital in our language. I hope this helps bring your English to life, making it more tangible, vivid, and enjoyable to use. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next lesson where we'll explore the fascinating world of abstract nouns. Happy learning!